price of gas has soared more than 60% since December, you've probably noticed. So we would all like to maximize our mileage this 4th of July weekend, but there are lots of mileage myths out there. According to Jill Schlesinger, editor-at-large of CBSMoneyWatch.com, she is here to bust them wide open. Good morning, Jill. Good morning. Let's start with the first one. Is this true or false? Regular gas will ruin your car. False. Dang. Uh, and you know what's great about see, this? I love that. I love the, the sound <laughs> effects. The funny thing about this is that, you know, you see every, all these cars say, put premium gas. You know what? Unless you're like an Indy 500 driver, and I know the guys are going to be like, no, 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 I'll, I'll lose horsepower. You won't notice. And really, when you look at the difference between premium and regular, it's one, it's a quarter a gallon. It can really add up to serious Price money. Price-wise so is a big difference, it, but otherwise not so much. Not so much. But there are some cars that say unleaded only. Yes, and that's, that's really more of a suggestion than super, a hard Super, super unleaded Exactly. Only, right? I mean, probably for the high-performance oh, vehicle you Oh, it's just a drive. suggestion? It really is a suggestion. You it sure? really is. Positive. So when they did all the testing, there is some. There can be some knocking in your very fancy Ferrari that you might drive. But for most people, <laughs> let's put the eh, eh, again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so, but if for most people, not that big a deal, and you can save a lot of money. So okay. don't get so hyped up on it. All right. Next one. Cold gas saves you money. I've heard this. Get it in the morning or at night when gas is colder. Especially in the summer, people talk about. Is that this, true right? or false? And false. I'm going to do my own sound effect. The false part of this is it incrementally, literally like 1% savings, but it's impossible to find it. So really, by the time you get the, the do all the looking around to find your cold gas, you're not saving enough. Okay. So not worth it. Shopping for gas, shopping around for gas is not worth the extra fuel. True or false? False. So it is worth it to shop around? Yes, but here's the caveat. The caveat is it used to not be worth it because you'd be driving all over the exactly. place and you'd waste all that gasoline. Well, yeah, you, all you do is you go online in the morning, you see where you're traveling that day. AAA has a fantastic website where they have a place where they say, type in your route today. We'll show you where the gas prices are the cheapest. So with that resource, it does make sense. And by the way, for people who live in metropolitan regions, going across a bridge, for example, New York to New Jersey, five Five miles away can save big dollars. But again, plan ahead. Yeah, don't drive around looking for the cheapest right. gas. Go online. Exactly. Next, to save gas, drive below 55 miles an hour. Now that might be true. Might be, but it's not. Oh. <laughs> now, the funny thing is we always heard 55, right? 55 was this magic number in the 70s. It's actually 60 miles a gallon. Now, the, the caveat here is at six, above 60 miles a gallon, you do start to be, lose your gas, gas efficiency. 24 cents for every five miles over 60. So you may get there a little bit sooner if you're driving 80. Yeah. A, you may get a ticket, and B, it'll cost you more money. That's too much math for me. All right. I'm well, just it's going to cost false. you. Drive 60. Okay, good. Next, automatic transmissions are as efficient as manual. True. This, was, true the, this was the shocker to me. Because I grew up thinking, you drive a stick shift, yep. it's more efficient, it's better, right? It actually has changed with as technology has changed, automatic as fuel efficient. And in fact, there, there's some progress here that it may become even better than a stick because people don't drive sticks correctly because they don't learn how to drive a stick right, anymore. Right, right. So I think this was a, that was a surprising one I to me. I missed the stick shift. I know. It's, it was fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Thank you.